Hello and welcome back to another week of well-being at Venice Stores. Five more sleeps and you lot, you get a well-deserved break and my goodness, you truly deserve a break. So well done you for powering through this tricky term. Let's just have a little think about our challenge last week. Hmm. Yes. You're right. Last week's challenge was to post a letter or talk to somebody that you haven't spoken to in quite some time. I posted one to my nan. Let's have a little look who shone in their wellbeing challenge this week. Hi Grace! Hi. I have chosen you this week because you sent me in the post a very special letter, didn't you? Yeah. What did you do? Can you tell everybody? I sent Miss Hannon a card and it had on it me and Miss Hannon on, on our shirt. It had our names on. It did? And how did you feel when you was making me the card? I felt happy. You did? And how did you think I was going to feel when I went to the post in the morning and found it? Happy as well. I felt more than happy, Grace. I was absolutely over the moon. To Miss Hannon, you bright my day. Look from Grace. I absolutely loved it, Grace. Show me your big smile. Because that is exactly how I felt when I received this little card from you, Princess. So thank you so, so much, Shay. Have you enjoyed doing the wellbeing challenges? Yes. Grace, you are amazing. You made my day by sending a letter. I know that there were so many of you that did the same, but I just had time to choose just one. But everyone else, keep up the amazing work and maybe one day you'll feature on Wellbeing at Fenny Schools. Are you ready to hear about next week's Wellbeing at Fenny Schools challenge? Now then, we have a very special guest with us here today and it's none other than our English coordinator Mrs Sarami who's going to help me go through next week's challenge. Hello everybody, so this week is National Storytelling Week and we have been celebrating this both at school and also at home virtually via our team's pages. We have been listening to our teachers reading their favourite stories to us. Now, we thought it would be a really good idea for this week's challenge for you to make a den where you could read your favourite stories. Inside your den, you could even get a torch and pretend that you're reading underneath the starry night sky. At Feniscals, we love reading both children and teachers. So reading can calm our minds after a very busy day of learning. And they can, it can take us to new and exciting worlds. So I wonder if you could take a photograph of your reading dens once you've made them. Maybe you could post it on our team's page or um, show a picture to your teacher. We would really love to see how you get on with this. Okay, everybody, so good luck and we're really looking forward to seeing your reading den. Thanks for that, Mrs. Sarami. And you are right. There are so many benefits to den building and especially when you get to read a story too. So build a den, read a story, have some time out. And remember, you are amazing. <laughs> See you soon, everybody. See you next week, Wellbeing at Benny Schools. Keep up the amazing work. We are so, so proud of you. Never forget that you are kind, you are important and you are so loved. Bye for now everybody.